Hello. How are you? What's this lovely, lovely bag on the wall? That's the satchel, the um, the iconic satchel. If it wasn't for that satchel, we wouldn't be sat here now, Jamie. We are at Flight Club in um, Birmingham for a Smart Talk event run by the M3 agency. I'm actually going to talk about the on the tool story in the main, a little bit on a budget, but also that whole journey to Electric House and where we are right now. I always said I'll come to the business when there's enough money in the bank for two months of my salary. And uh, on my first day, they told me there was two weeks uh, money in the bank. So um, we had to work really hard, really, really quickly. We actually aligned ourselves uh, with three key brands, Scruff's uh, Workwear, Direct Line Insurance and Juicer. On January the 1st, 2017, we knew we had 41 pieces of video content to make and a certain amount of income which actually allowed us to employ real people uh, in the business and we started employing our own videographers. Our videographers from then on and always have done is understand the community, understand what they've got to shoot and how they've got to shoot it because we always have this community first aspect. Back in the day when it was just me and Lee, um, and we, we had no money. We were starting to go out to a few meetings and stuff like that and we actually didn't have like anything to like carry our laptops in or anything like that. And we thought we'd buy something that made us look a little bit more professional, which was this satchel. But because we were so skinned, we shared it. <laughs> like, you know, like a child at weekends. Like I'd have it one week, clean out the, the next. Um, and, and yeah, so that's the story behind the iconic satchel. By the end of 2017, we were on the map. We achieved 84 million views for our clients. Uh, and we only, the key thing here is, as you'll see, we had 1.8 million followers. 2018 comes along and we've moved up. We've overtaken the United Lab Bible. How have we done that? The reason we've done that is Facebook changed their algorithm. Uh, and what the algorithm said is we're gonna give you even less organic reach than we were giving you before. And your, own, your content's only gonna thrive if you get engagement. At the heart of that on the tools community are UK tradespeople. So we make content for them. We know who we're making it for, and we're looking for that key engagement to kick the content on. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Everyone's just coming here to give me a round of applause for my masculine moustache. <laughs> <laughs> to get everyone together to sort of say thank you uh, for what you've done and we're all really proud of you. This is a lot better than I was expecting but we're all right. Anyone else watching this that comes in later it's not too late to donate. Lee also um, has been very generous and said that he wants to donate on behalf of the company 500 pounds towards your uh, your oh, target. Wow. So. <laughs> lost two people to suicide I always wanted to do something and I didn't know what and everyone says to you oh you didn't know you didn't know but I always felt like I should have known should have done more and, and then obviously being on the tours and having going to Movember and sat there meeting Movember and like have been, having the opportunity to give something back so I guess it's thank you to you guys really because you know I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys so it's beautiful man. <laughs> On a budget, which is our newest community, on a budget is very, very different, and DIY on a budget is uh, a phenomenon. It has 1.4 million members in a closed Facebook group. It has about 1,000 posts per day, and it's full of three key things, and they are inspiration, information, and ego. And you only get the inspiration via the ego, because people post in there, look at my new kitchen that I've just done there. We will start to work with brands like Dulux in there. And so we did a live about grey paint that's very, very topical at the moment. So again, the content is driven by that community. So why did we change to Electric House? We changed to Electric House because um, I think probably the reason why we're here today is because, and somebody called it that earlier, on the tools is a Facebook page. Uh, we're a lot more than a Facebook page and I think some of the brands that don't work with us didn't realise that and still don't. From a business perspective, we want to be able to um, communicate and work with brands and also other agencies because we're a 
we're a publisher as well. And this is all driven by our core values as a business, which, which we're desperate to hold on with, even with the massive growth that we've had. And they are the pillars of what we do, creativity, passion, positivity, togetherness, honesty, and consistency, which is all very woolly, so we put it into sentences that we create together, we be passionate and honest, and we have consistent, positive impact. <laughs>